G'day guys, Sam here. I'm in a riverbed right now at, uh, on the east cape of the North Island of New Zealand. And uh, yeah, it's the 29th of December today, so this is probably going to be my last hunt for 2022. Um, and yeah, the plan is I'm not here first light, um, because here on the east cape we're the first place to see the sun. And <laughs> I'm a little bit lazy and wasn't wanting to get up at 4.30 in the morning. Um, we'll get up at 3.30 in the morning to get here by 4.30 in the morning. Um, so yeah, I'm not going for deer this morning. That being said, if I see a deer, I'm probably going to shoot it. But uh, I'm mainly going for goats today, because um, there's a lot of goats in the area, so hopefully I'll at least see some. And uh, there's been some pretty good billy sighted. I actually shot a real decent billy here uh, last year. I'll put the link up there if you haven't seen that video yet. Um, I shot, that was a 30 inch billy, my first ever 30 incher. Um, so the plan today is just walk up this river, have a look at slips and stuff that I might bump into and uh, see if we can't find another one. So uh, yeah, that's the plan at least, we'll have to see what happens. So uh, yeah, let's go. She's just better down there, just in the edge of the sunlight. I think there might... Oh, there's another one right there. Man, they blend in well. I'm quite proud I managed to pick that up in this little camera screen. <laughs> I'll say it's looking at me too. Yeah, there's a few young ones. Alrighty, uh, I've left those guys behind. I actually um, saw that there wasn't anything decent in there, so I sent the drone up to go have a look at them um, and that was pretty cool they were a bit confused they uh, kind of looked at it for a bit and then jumped up and kind of trotted away but it was still cool having a look at them at the drone um, yeah I need to start using my drone more I've had it for years and um, I never use it because I'm really scared I'm going to crash it <laughs> and then just lose it forever um, but since I don't use it then it's also a waste of money you know so Call it a New Year's resolution, so hopefully in a lot of future videos you're going to see a lot more drone shots, hopefully. Well, the sun's pretty high up now. Um, yeah, I've been walking for a bit longer since the last check checked in. Haven't seen any more live animals. Heaps of sign in the creeks. Um, heaps of nighttime activity going on. I'm feeling quite lazy, so I'm just going to keep walking up the creek and hope that because there's so many animals here, so many goats here, um, I'll find some more on a slip, on a sunny slip, or maybe not even a sunny slip, just on a, a slip or something. Um, and uh, hopefully I just miraculously stumble into a big billy. No skill required, just pure good old fashioned luck. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's always a bit touch and go when you're relying on luck when you're hunting, for obvious reasons. But uh, anyway, we'll see what happens. Alrighty, we've got some goats here. Um, yeah, just up on the slip. As I was coming around the corner, coming up the river, I was like, I saw this. I saw it coming, and I was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a goat place. And uh, yeah, sure enough, a few more steps, and there's a goat. So there's a mob of them. I think there's probably about five. It's looking like a mixture of kids and nannies. And there might be a billy there too. I think there is one dominant billy. But he hasn't a very big horns. He's got a long beard. But he hasn't got... Yeah, he hasn't got huge horns. So it might just be a real big old nanny. Because the kids are hanging around it quite a bit. That's the thing with goats though. Is that because they don't, they don't pass their prime like deer do. So the older they get, the bigger they get. And the dominant billy of a mob is not necessarily going to be the one with the biggest horns you know so you kind of if you're trophy goat hunting you really want to be looking for the grandpa of the group right not the because the, the dominant billy would be fitter and stronger than the old ones but the old ones will still have straight up bigger horns right and often often you'll find the um the old ones that hang out with the grandkids a little bit 
um, and just kind of sitting around chewing their cud all day. Um, it just kind of tucked out of the way, whereas the, the lead billy is usually the one that people see first and it's, I think it's usually one people shoot as well um, because they see it and it has decent horns so they shoot it but then they might actually see an even bigger goat running away um, I don't know, that's just a little something I picked up reading a book once <laughs> but I tell you, I think we're going to let these guys go I'm going to head down the creek a little bit to get another angle on them um, and see if that Grandpa Billy does exist for this mob and, uh, but yeah, we'll go from there. That's what it is. Well, I've been walking down the creek for a few hours now. And uh, yeah, nah, still nothing too exciting. Um, nothing exciting enough to take my gun off my shoulder. Uh, which is kind of annoying because my shoulders are very sunburnt, as is the rest of me. <laughs> Yesterday I spent a good chunk of the afternoon playing beach volleyball, Top Gun style. Um, so, yeah, nah, needless to say, being ginger and all that, <laughs> I'm pretty toasted. Right, more goats have been spotted. Uh, just two black ones by the looks of it so far, just standing in the middle of the creek. As I was coming around the corner, I bloody was looking the other way and then suddenly turned back around there's a goat standing in the middle of the creek. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any big ones again, but anyway, good to see. Man, so how's this? Look at all these layers of rock. And basically, these are, these are all sedimentary rocks around these ways. Um, they're clay stones, I believe, which makes sense because there's clay everywhere. Um, this is what happens when you just finish a degree in physical geography um, and it's real cool so one of, one of the laws of you know there's like laws of physics or whatever there's also laws of like sedimentary rocks and it's called stratigraphy and basically at some point when all these layers were deposited they were flat they were horizontal um, and over time over millions and millions of years like tectonic activity and the mountains the mountain ranges being pushed up and created have literally just taken this whole chunk and just rotated it slowly upwards so that now they're pointing this way and it's pretty cool and then there's also check out this freaky type of erosion where it looks kind of looks like the um, the rocks are made of Lego and they just shatter and if I find another rock like it I'll show you but basically I think it's a type of water erosion where basically um, the water rushes over the rock and only dissolves and dissolves certain parts of like the molecular makeup of the rock so the rock kind of stays intact but then like gets you know parts of it get washed away and it becomes all these little chunks and it looks like a rock made of lego and you can just kick it and it'll explode like a snowball it's actually really cool and i've only seen it around here in the east cape um so there must be something special in the um you know in the makeup of the rocks Anyway, not hunting related, but just something to keep an eye out for and um, next time you're out in the bush and you see stuff like this on a riverbank or whatever, um, it's just cool to appreciate how long these rocks have been here. That they've literally gone from flat to near vertical. It's pretty cool. Anyway, continuing the hunt for goats. see these guys. I was filming a rock.
could shoot him right there. <laughs> <laughs> he obviously hasn't smelled me. He's decent, he's not huge. <laughs> he's gonna come round to get my wind. He's gonna smell me soon. Oh, he's pretty excited to see me by the looks of it. Hell, mate. Oh, he's peeing on himself. Yeah, look at him. He's doing his lip girl thing. He totally thinks I'm a nanny ready to root. He's going to come around, he's going to get my wind, and he's going to bugger off. Bloody hell, this is close. There we go, he got my wind. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. There's his mate. Over there. Oh, maybe I should shoot him. Uh, I don't know. He's not huge and I don't really want to waste a bullet on him. <laughs> Look at these fellas. He's not happy now. You can tell when you got my wind, eh? He was totally going to come try root me. What a horny bastard. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> Crack up. Look at him just standing there. All four of them. Alrighty, I'll let you guys go. Oh, so we'll get him running. Okay, see you later, guys. Now, oh, would you look at that? It looks like I've apparently got more success at attracting male goats than I do attracting human females. <laughs> no, that was pretty cool. And he was coming in fast. He was keen. I didn't see him initially. It was just I'm just watching them as they're running away along the creek here. Um, yeah, I couldn't see him initially. He was hiding behind a um, behind a log, and then his head kind of stuck out. And man, he just kept on coming. I just didn't move. I was just crashed down and did my good old nanny call, which uh, apparently works. And uh, yep, nah, he was coming in, and he was I don't know. I'm sure you can see it on the footage. He was uh, very happy to see me. was ready to go. Um, <laughs> that's pretty funny. But uh, no, I decided not to shoot him. I could have. Um, and it would have made for a good little thumbnail, but he's not, he wasn't huge. I don't know what his speed would have been. Probably 25, 24 inches. Like, not close to 30. Not really what I'm wanting. So, uh, anyway. Yeah, that was a bit of fun. I'm just making my way back to the car now. We might uh, see something else. Who knows? Fingers crossed we find something like that but just maybe a little bit bigger. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well I'm almost back at the car but I can see a few goats, maybe a nanny and a couple kids and they're in a real good spot. The wind's real good so I'm just going to try and work on my stalking skills and uh, see how close I can get. I'm not going to shoot them, I'm actually probably going to leave my gun behind so I can kind of crawl towards them and uh, yeah I'll see how close I can get. Alrighty.
well it got pretty close to them that was I don't know two meters <laughs> I was just lying there and then the wind finally swirled and it, um, she got my wind um, yeah Let's see how close we can get to <laughs> Oh boy, here we go again. <laughs> I've probably screwed these guys over now because next time they smell a human, uh, they might not be as scared. Because it hasn't done anything. Man, those are young kids. Hey, how old are you guys? Hey, you guys must be only a few months old, maybe a few weeks old. You fellas are tiny. Hopefully their mum finds it again. I'm sure it will. They'll be able to smell her mum because they've gone um, downwind of her. So she went off that way, but she'll be standing around waiting for her kids to come back. So back at my stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll just head back to the car now. Sweet. Oh man, it's getting hot now. Um, I think it's. Oh, well past midday now, it's probably close to one, yeah, one-ish. And um, yeah, I'll be surprised if I see anything on the river. Um, but the video is not over yet. I just want to show you guys some footage that we filmed oh, a couple days ago. Um, we came up here and found some goats and used the drone to try and like herd them together. We actually were trying to get them to come towards us, but it didn't really happen. They just kind of ran away and we couldn't get the drone in a good position. But I ended up shooting one. And um, we actually pretty much managed to get the shot on film. Um, there, was, there was a bit of miscommunication between which one I was shooting and which ones were in the frame because um, we were on slightly different angles and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, still, still pretty cool. Something I wanna, I've been wanting to try it for a while actually. So. Uh, So yeah, that was just a, a nice little eater that we ended up getting, a nice young black nanny. Um, yeah, so that was cool as, and uh, we got a bit of drone footage of uh, us carrying the go down and, you know, sitting ready to take a photo and, and whatnot, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, I'm just going to keep on walking up the river here. I'm almost at the truck, so I'll uh, yeah, see you guys when I'm back there. <laughs> it is so hot at the moment. Yeah, I just decided to jump in the creek to uh, cool off a bit. And uh, yeah, just wanted to end the video here. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, random adventure. Um, not many animals were shot, but I uh, still got some cool ass footage. And uh, as per usual, the good old uh, shit talk from me. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. See you later. Ow!